and Long's HP bars to prolong fights, and Remake's damage to win fights. Over on FPX, they have to dismantle that wombo combo, that three-stage engage that Nova are so good at, and that looks like landing stuns, extending the fight through kiting so that the singed cooks people alive, and then when people are low, 0711 strikes. If he can get a gold lead, we could absolutely get one of those MVP performances. This could be, potentially, Von Plus's Phoenix's last game of the entire Icons tournament. Wow. Nova Esports have come in not just swinging, they swung for the fences. They have landed two incredible blows. One more sends FPX home as we get onto the rift for game three between FPX and Nova Esports. Match points in our semifinals. Nova, maybe just 20 minutes away from being our first finalist. Not the outcome that many expected going into this series. FPX, the number one seed from the WRL. Nova was just a challenger looking to take the crown and the throne. And they might be able to do that in this last game. Let's Fato, the here we go. Turret resistances are about to drop in the next five seconds. Nova are here early so that they can take full advantage. Lay three man, two man face breaker. That's a lot of damage on the Nyitse. Uh, forced to pop the Nominus, and they have to run. Way too threatening. Oh, Lay! Lay! Beautiful interception. The alley oop right back into FPX for first blood. Lay finds first blood for FPX, stepping up. Yes, Yami is talking trash. But who won that fight in game three? It's FPX getting the lead, and simultaneously FPX they did. They instead get to force the pace here, though, because they won the top lane skirmish. Long securing the dragon, whereas FPX, because of the pressure surmounted on the top side of the map, will get Rift Herald. They can snowball this further and more gold accelerated. Yeah, that's a very good trade for FPX. A team that will always prefer Rift Herald anyway. The only exception maybe being Infernal Drake. So. They get exactly what they want because of that top lane skirmish, because Nova did not have control of the top side of the map, and they settled for less. Nova playing for the wow. long game right here. Dude, this is such a brutal matchup. I love Fado pushing it, though, because he has lost these trades. It is a very Jeez, hard one he one to win. Rift Herald summoned here. Long here to defend. We make here that's to defend back, as well. That's back, that's back, and boom! Mega Inferno Bomb sends 0711 back to the fountain. Long, undeterred, is continuing to advance forward before Fado gets replenished health from the honey fruit. Nova with a perfect rotate. Bring Remake in in time to get the kill. And now they run the top side of the map for eight more seconds with 0711 dead. It's a massive advantage to know. Yitzhak forced into the pit right now. 3,000 HP onto the Rift Herald. Yitzhak pops the Dominus. Fado missing the stun. Looking for the knockup. There's the big one on too long, but he cancels out with the Ragnarok. Transcendent to Brace doesn't get anything done. It is long that secures the Rift Herald. And Nova Esports blinking, trying to get out, but it is still long on the aggressive. They don't find anyone from FPX, but they get the objective. Nobody from FPX dies, as you say, but they lose so much ground. They're going to lose at least two turrets here. Rift Herald denied, actually. All flip. They're going to be close here. It's gone. Good job from FPX, but Nova will still get the turn oh, on the top side. He's going to be late to this fight. Here comes 0711. 0711 has fight. to pull out a miracle. Hits 2400 HP. He's blinking out. He goes still invisible. Can he steal it out? Does he get Sell it? 0711 potentially have saved the game for FPX, but now they got to survive the team fight. But they are cruising through it here, TJ. FPX do more than survive. They thrive. A stolen team fight. A stolen dragon. And FBX are still in this series. Play proto building forward, gets the showstopper down. He's locked up. Yami and a haymaker lands the knockout punch Remake's onto Yami's dead. face. Remake is gone. That's the Remake prime gaming. FBX, they're currently with the gold lead. Huge stun onto Yami, but now he Big finds job. an opportunity. Big Two man knockout, mega proto bomb. bomb. Good stasis, though, from Fado. Fado get out stasis alive. is the damage, and Lei Haymaker is the damage and then they redemption away any chip. So, FPX got some major cooldowns burned there. That's most of the engage gone. Yami no more quickness, but gets a two-man knockup once again. Yitzhay layers it down with the dominance, gets a lot of burn damage, lay. Good oh! haymaker! Long is silenced by 0711 and the rest of FPX. And it's Jamal as well with perfect karma play in that fight. 
winning another pick for FPX. And oh my lord, they are doing this, burning the Baron to try and force a response out of Nova. They are wasting no time here, TJ. They see a way back into finding Stop momentum. In the Stop it, reset it. Neon alone in the middle of the map, though. Neon grounded in the middle of the map, though. Yeah, Lei is willing to trade his life if necessary because the he mid laner are going to. down for Nova. The burning dragon. They're trying to get something out of nothing here. They need to be able to make the trade advantage. 0711 tries to flash forward, but it's still long. That clutches out the dragon. Flashing for Lei, but he gets burned down by the remaining members of FPX here. Nova now on the retreat. Fado trying to keep them in vision sight. Nova managed to get out alive with the dragon, but at the cost of long and Neon. Yeah, two kills in exchange for an Ocean Dragon. FPX may take that because they can now turn immediately onto the Baron. The jungler is dead, and they will start what could be the final objective of this game. They probably don't finish the Baron here, but they know that. They're just trying to force Nova to make yet more mistakes, force them to make a terrible choice. Yami over the wall. Remake doesn't have Mega Furnal Bob to follow up, but maybe just the normal abilities will do enough damage here. Yitzhak goes gold and flashing away. Critical timing, 4,000 HP. Mega Furnal Bob finally Huge comes up. Ball. A lot of damage down, burning the members of FPX. Can they go? Remake with the clutch Baron steal over the wall, and he's able to take out the GA of 0 7 Yes, he goes down, but he stops the FPX on their roll. Stay in this series. Oh, Baron. Yami has Caught found Fado. Mega Inferno Bomb connects, and the GA has been popped. Can FPX find a way to re-engage? 0711 finds Remake, gets the flash out. He only has a stasis now, and he has to kite as far away as possible. It's all up to the front line of Nova to be able to put out the damage without necessarily needing to remake. 0711, gotcha. the Pentakill Kha'Zix comes back alive in the most clutch fight that they need. And they'll push through the mid lane. They don't need either objective. This is going to be the game. This is FPX keeping our series going and striking back against Nova. FPX.